Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to install the Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, this will show you the necessary steps. First of all, you need to be rooted and have a custom recovery installed. Uh, you must have either Twerp or Clockwork Mod installed. I have Twerp on my device at the moment. Uh, but first of all, I recommend backing everything up because everything will be wiped. Make sure you back up all your contacts. Uh, your apps, etc., because a factory reset will be needed. Anyways, once you are rooted and have a custom recovery, you can click on the link in the description. Clicking of the on the video. link in the description of the video is going to take you to this website. First of all, I want to give a shout out to S. Brisson, along with Team Hacksung, C the CM Team, TSM, and Slick Rick as well. Shout out to all of them for getting this together for us right now, as of this video, as of 12:31, December 31st. Uh, this is an unofficial build, and also it is Alpha 2. So it's still in Alpha state. You are going to run into some bugs. My review video will cover those bugs as of this current build. However, the how-to install should not change. Anyways, go ahead and scroll down, and you'll see two downloads, Alpha 1 and Alpha 2. Go ahead and download the latest one, whichever one's the latest, if there's a beta out, if there's a stable out, just download the latest one, uh, click on Alpha 2, it'll take you to a download site, it'll take you to this site, then click this green button to download the file. So download that, now go back to that website, and then click on this link right here, uh, goo.im slash gapps, click on that, and it will take you to this website. You're going to want to download the second row, the signage about 10.0. Um, looks like as of today, it's 2012-10-11. Download that zip file as well. So you're going to need to download those two files, the ROM zip and the GApps add-on. You need both of them. And then once both of them are downloaded, transfer both of them over to your internal or external storage of your device. Once you've done so, you can go back to your phone. And once you've transferred those files onto your device, we are going to need to get into that custom recovery. So you can just power off your device. And once fully powered off to get into that custom recovery, press and hold volume up the home button and the power button all at the same time. Keep them held down till the Samsung screen lights up and let go. Then it should take us into our twerp recovery or clockwork mod, whichever one you have installed. Okay, it took a little while, but loaded up team win recovery. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this installed. First of all, I highly recommend making an Android backup. So go to the backup menu. Uh, you can set a name, so you can say stock, or you can put a specific date, so you remember when this was made. Hit go, and then you can use internal storage or external storage, either one, and then hit swipe to backup. I need to make an Android backup, so I'm doing it as well. So make one if you do not have one, and then I'll be back once it's done. All right, so you'll see backup is complete. Don't reboot the system. Go ahead and just go back, go back again. And then what we're going to need to do is go ahead and go into our wipe menu and do a factory reset. So go ahead and do factory reset. It's swipe to wipe. That is the uh, first thing you're going to need to do. That's the first thing I recommend doing. Now once you've done that, go back and go to cache and wipe that as well. Then go ahead and go back and hit Dalvik cache and wipe that. Go back once more. Go back again. Go to the install button. And then once you either choose external or internal SD card, wherever you transfer those files to, go ahead and select the ROM zip itself. So go ahead and find that ROM zip, that CML900. Uh, right now it's Alpha 2 zip. Go ahead and select that and hit swipe to confirm flash. Uh, this ROM zip will take a little bit of time to, to install. Generally, Cyanogen Mod ROMs aren't as large as TouchWiz ROMs. Uh, just, just... It seems to be that way with all Samsung devices, or really any other devices in general, just because of the bloat that uh, manufacturer overlay uh, uses. So uh, it won't take as long as a TouchWiz ROM would. Uh, once that's done, hit the back arrow once more, and then find those G apps that you transferred over. Select that zip file and hit swipe to confirm flash. So right after you're done installing the ROM zip, find that Google Apps add-on. That's going to install the Play Store for you, Google Talk all those good Google apps. And once you're done there, don't, uh, you're not done just yet. Go back once more, go back again, and then go to the white menu once more and do a factory reset. Hit swipe to wipe, um, and then go back and go to cache again, wipe that, and then go back and hit Dalvik cache and wipe that. So those are the necessary steps needed to install. Hit back again, go to the back arrow, then just hit reboot system. And then that should be it. So our phone should reboot, 
And once it boots up, that should be just about it. We should be running the Signage Mod 10 ROM on our Sprint Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation, but as I said, I'll be doing a separate review video of this ROM going over some features along with uh, bugs of the current build, etc. So be sure to check that out. I'll link to it in the description of the video below, but let's check out that boot animation now. And there it is. So that's that uh, cool signage mod boot animation there, and that would be it. So again, this first boot up is going to take a little bit longer than any other subsequent boot up just because it's a clean ROM install. Keep that in mind, this boot up will take a little bit longer. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.